Welcome to another episode of Steamy! Today you are learning how to create a curation trail on the Steam blockchain and use Steam Auto, the open source software for that. The first thing you need to do is create a new account on Steam Auto by clicking on login and register and there you have to fill in your details with your Steemit username, your email for the confirmation email, otherwise you will not really need that any longer, and your new password for the Steam Auto website. After you registered, you have um, also to send 0 0.001 Steam back dollars to the Steam Auto um, account on the Steam blockchain in order to confirm your account and you will receive a little memo tag that you have to fill in as um, the memo info there in order to be recognized from Steam Auto. When you did that you will also receive an email and after the confirmation you can finally go to the login and type in all your credentials. So let's do that here with my LastPass browser plugin, selecting the correct Steam Auto account, confirming the recapture and clicking on login. And now we have this welcome message that is asking us to connect our Steam Auto account with our um, Steam keys. So we need here to connect it either with Steam Connect or with Steam Auto. I will choose the Steam Connect function because I'm familiar with that and it's great auto open source software. The authorization process starts, we click on continue, we fill in our username and our owner key, active key or the master password from the account that we are trying to connect with Steam Auto. Again I will use my LastPass browser plugin here to quickly fill in all the details. Click on confirm and here we have the congratulations message saying that everything worked. All right, so now back on Steam Auto, we have three options, the curation trail, fan base and schedule posts. For this video, we will look at the curation trails and see how that works. So here on the left, we have the tab curation trail, where you can now easily um, follow other people. And that basically means that you can then set up to automatically upvote all the posts that have been upvoted by the curator that you are following. And per default, you will use exactly the same upvote weight. You can also define that. So for example, here on the top, we see I'm already following Utopian 1UP, which is rewarding high quality utopian posts before the bot strikes from utopian and it burns 10 percent of voting power every day so it's the description it has already six followers here um, the weight is set on auto automatically and the wait time is set on zero clicking on settings we can change that follow Curator weight is already selected here. When we deselect that, we can then change it to whatever, 30% all the time, for example. And you can also put in a delay for when you are also upvoting that post. Um, if you're following a trail, it is actually usually okay to leave it just on zero here. And I will put that back actually. And yeah. That is how you can follow a curation trail. Also, if you want to become a curation trail yourself, or better, a curator that is having its own trail, then you can click here on the top and use the green button, become, edit your trailer. You type in your um, description text to let others know what exactly your 
curation is all about. You click submit and then you will be locked into the list down here with all the other trailers so people can find you and decide for themselves whether they want to follow you. You see this is all very easy and quickly set up. It is a very powerful way to increase your curation rewards on the Steam blockchain. So I hope you liked that tutorial and you found it useful and I talk to you very soon.